Now we can get on with building the road and ground sections of our city. We only need to make three separate geometry elements to create the entire city floor as the procedural tools of MASH will look after everything else. First, let's just hide our grip, so Control H, and let's create a new polygon plane. And in our polyplane 2, just set Shift and Minimize button and set it down to one subdivision. We're going to assign a new, make sure we're in object mode, and assign a new material. And just going to write Lambert, and we're going to call it Road 01 Lambert. However, with this material, instead of just changing the color, we're going to add a bitmap. To add a bitmap, we press on the checked icon beside our color which opens our Create Render Node window, and admittedly this is a lot of options. We can just narrow this down by going to 2D Textures and pressing the File node. This is very similar to just adding a texture node in Cinema 4D. And in our File node, at this folder here beside Image Name, we just press on that and that will load into our Source Images folder and we want the Road PSD. There's a chance, as you can see, that we don't see our texture. Don't panic, there's nothing going wrong here. All we need to do is we just need to press the number six on our keyboard. Alternatively, we could have gone to switch on hardware texturing, and this shows our bitmap on our plane. Let's rename our P plane one to road zero one. Let's just pause for a minute and take a quick look at how Maya arranges materials and textures. As we have Road 1 selected, we can see the Road 01 Lambert tab here. Where there was a checkbox, we can now see this triangle icon with a square. Click on that and that takes us into our texture elements where we can see File 1 and Place 2D Texture 1. File 1 deals with the properties of the file that we have loaded in. There's the file itself and we can also control things like color space. The Place 2D Texture tab shows how the texture maps to the geometry. So it is the equivalent of a texture tag on an object in Cinema 4D. There is a more straightforward way of seeing what is going on with the chosen material. With our geometry selected, just press on the hypershade and we can press graph materials on selected objects here or alternatively in the menu. And this loads it into our workspace graph. Here we can see all the connected elements of our material. Here is our placement node, here is our bitmap node, here is our overall color node and here is our shading group node. These can be minimized by pressing on these icons, expanded, we can see all the options, and here we can see out color feeding into color rather than the triangular icon. I find this much more straightforward than all the tabs within Maya, and I also find it more efficient than this equivalent material system in Cinema 4D. Say if we wanted to add our road texture to our small building windows, all we would need to do is Select that material, add selected node to graph. We load, it, oh, we load in our main node. We can rearrange it here. We can also zoom in. Let's just press the F key. So all our zoom options work as well, including pan with middle mouse button. And then we can feed the out color into the color here. Obviously, we don't want to do that for the purposes of this tutorial but it's good to see how one texture can feed into multiple nodes and we can have as many of these workspace graphs as we need, each one looking at a different material configuration. So I'm just going to unplug that and close my hypershade.